Come children, let's explore the composition of the Earth's atmosphere. Earth is the only planet in the solar system that has atmosphere to support life. Take a look over this pie chart. The main constituents of air are nitrogen, oxygen, argon, carbon dioxide and traces of other gases. Let's discuss the properties of these gases one by one. Nitrogen makes up 78% of the volume of the air. It is needed for survival by plants in the fixed form. So, bacteria found in the soil fixes the nitrogen which is then used by the plants. Nitrogen moves between atmosphere, biosphere and geosphere in different forms in a process called nitrogen cycle. Oxygen makes up 21% volume of air. All living beings inhale oxygen for their survival. Green plants produce oxygen during photosynthesis. Cutting down trees disturbs the oxygen balance in the atmosphere. Carbon dioxide forms about 0.03% volume of air. It is used by the green plants to make their food. It is exhaled by living beings. Carbon dioxide has the unique property of absorbing infrared radiations coming from the sun resulting in the heating of the earth's surface. This is called greenhouse effect. So, carbon dioxide is known as the greenhouse gas. Other greenhouse gases are water vapor, nitrous oxide and methane. Do you know, lot of carbon dioxide is emitted by vehicles and industries into the atmosphere. In fact, burning of fuels also disturbs the carbon dioxide balance in the atmosphere. Can you think what will happen if carbon dioxide level becomes too high? Well, it will cause global warming. Global warming is the rise in the Earth's average temperature. Global warming has many consequences like melting of ice caps and glaciers, causing sea level to rise and flooding the low-lying areas. This can destroy the livelihood of humans and the natural habitat of the animals. Moreover, it can affect the world's weather and climate.